So this question goes and looks a little bit at circuits. It looks a little bit at calculating resistance and it's got a little bit on charging it. So it starts off with figure three. It shows how temperature sensing in the circuit is used to control a heating system. Right, what quantity does an ammeter measure? Right, just remember that the ammeter always goes and measures the current and current is measured in amps. Right, the second part of this part is that the current in the circuit is 3.5 milliamps. Right, remember that stands for milliamps when the potential difference across the thermistor is 4.2 volts. Calculate the resistance. Right, so there are a number of different bits that you need to remember for this. Right, start off with, note down your equation that connects voltage, current and resistance and put it into your little triangle to help you remember. You can then go and write down the variables that we already know. So we know that the voltage is 4.2 volts and we know that the current is 3.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3 amps. You've got to remember that you've got to convert your milliamps back into amps. So all you're going to do to go and do this Go put your variables in, so to be 4.2 is equal to 3.5 times by 10 to the minus 3 times resistance. So therefore, resistance is going to be equal to 4.2 divided by 3.5 times 10 to the power of minus 3. So therefore, your resistance is going to equal 1200, and remember the symbol, ohms right so that's how you go through and calculate that part so the question then goes on it says calculate the charge that flows through the thermistor in five minutes when the current in the circuit is 3.5 milliamps right this is another occasion when it's really really important to have remembered your equations because just knowing the equations will get you easy marks. So, if you remember your equation for charge, charge is equal to current times time. We know that the time is five minutes. Remember that you've got to convert minutes into seconds. So your charge is going, to, your time is going to be three hundred seconds. We know that the current is zero point zero zero three five amps. So all you then do. You just go and plug the variables into your equation. So you're going to have 0 0.0035 times by the time, which is 300, which will give you a charge of 1.05. Remember, the symbol for charge is C for coulombs. Next part says, explain why the potential difference across the thermistor changes as the temperature in the house decreases. Right, there are a few things that you can put, but the two main things you'll have to think about is what is going to affect the potential difference and it's going to have something to do with temperature. So, you might want to talk about as the temperature decreases, the potential difference increases, and this is because... The resistance increases so you've got to go and talk about the physical resistance in the thermistor and the final part is talking about going and drawing the symbol for a light dependent resistor right all you need to remember is that any resistor is going to be a square box like that and if it's light dependent easy way to remember it just draw some light rays coming into it right go back have a go at this question really focus on squeezing out as many marks as possible 